Hey guys, it's Dante Ferrigno with Ferrigno Freedom Channel coming back to talk to you. Today is October 11th, 2023. I have officially been on Lion Diet as of today for 1,000 days. I started on January 14th, 2021. I was having such severe gut problems and I heard about this crazy diet where you eat only meat, specifically ruminant meat, water and salt, and that's it and how it had cured so many people of so many ills. And doctors had no answers for me, so I thought, what the heck? What have I got to lose? I'm about ready to end it anyway. Might as well give this a try before I give up on everything because I had a family to support. I needed to take care of my wife and kids, and I couldn't do that if I wasn't healthy. I couldn't do that if I wasn't alive. So I thought, why not? Give it a shot. Maybe you can save your life. I knew when I started I was gonna lose weight on a way of eating like this, but I had no idea how many other changes were gonna come from that. At the time I started, I was a complete insomniac. I could not get to sleep at night and I could not wake up in the morning. Now, when I'm ready to go to bed, I close my eyes, my head hits the pillow, I'm out. When it's time to get up in the morning, whether it's 4.30 or 5 o'clock in the morning, or if it's 8 o'clock in the morning, depending on what time I gotta work that day, I still get up and get ready for the day. I'm able to jump up and get going and do things that I couldn't do before. I used to snore at night, keeping my wife up all the time. I used to have breathing problems that would make it hard for me to do any type of exercise for any even a short period of time. I used to try to go walking for 30 minutes a day when I was close to 300 pounds and even that was too much for me. And I felt like I wasn't achieving anything. Now when I want to get exercise, I just jump right in and do it. Whether it's first thing in the morning, while I'm going through my work day, or even if I'm out and about. I'll stop and do push-ups or squats right in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I don't care who's watching. I love having the body that I always wanted to have. Here I am at 50 years old and I'm in the best health of my life. Even when I was 17 years old, I didn't feel as good as I do now. Even though I'm the same weight as I was when I was 17 on the high school wrestling team. A weight that I fought hard to get down to just so that I wouldn't have to wrestle heavyweight. I had to lose 20 pounds when I was 17 to get down to the weight I am now. And I've been lower than this since I've been on Lion Diet. When I started, I had high blood pressure. Now, no high blood pressure problems. Last time I went to the doctor, my numbers were 119 over 79. About as perfect as you could ask for when it comes to blood pressure standards. Even with the increased standards we've seen over time as the population has gotten less and less healthy. I was starting to have kidney problems according to my doctor before I started this way of eating. Steadily, my kidney function has improved throughout eating this, this way. I had low testosterone when I started eating this way and I was even on TRT for several years before starting to eat this way. I've been off of TRT now for close to a year and a half and my testosterone has not only remained at the level that it was at when it was low, it's actually gone up by at least 50%. And that was the last time I checked, which was over six months ago. My lipid panel, excellent. My HDL is up, my triglycerides are way down, even my LDL is within the normal range. Not that that really matters. And if you take a look at some of the LDL information out there, you'll probably agree with me on that. But this is a tough one for a lot of people to believe but my lipid panels look fantastic. I used to take medicines for allergies, medicines for digestion, medicines for an upset stomach. I took tons of supplements before. Now, I don't take anything except a couple of supplements for things that I think a lot of people suffer from, low iodine and low vitamin D, especially people in my age group. And 48 years of damage is tough to overcome. I even took some short clips of me wearing some of the clothes I wore in the very first video that I produced for this, 125 days on Lion Diet, and I went and got some of those clothes out and tried them on. Check it out here. You can see here I'm wearing this shirt that I wore within the first month or so of being on Lion Diet, and now here I am putting that same shirt back on. It's like a blanket going over me. It's unbelievable how much room is inside. I can't wear this shirt anymore but I'm glad I don't have to. Even though I love St. George Island, I don't have to wear this baggy, ridiculously long shirt anymore. Here I am in another video where I'm at a restaurant wearing one of my favorite Clint Eastwood shirts. Now, it fits like my dad used to wear this shirt and I'm still a little kid. Look at all the room in here. Even the pants I wore back then just dwarfed over me. 
Here's another clip of me wearing a shirt that I used to wear before I started Lion Diet. Now this was probably three months in. Now you can see even then I have far more room inside this shirt than I did back then. I was probably around 230 pounds at the time of the first video. Here I am wearing my don't hurt people and don't take their stuff video toward the end of my 125 days and here I am putting it on again just the other day. Look at all the room in there. I mean I could take it and fold this thing over on the side here and have a whole nother body in here practically. And with all I've been through financially in the past three years, all I can say is anybody who says that they can't do a carnivore way of eating isn't taking the right things into consideration. I don't make a lot of money, but I make enough to provide for my family somehow every month by the grace of God, I swear. And that's only on one income. Something that we started trying to do after I started Lion Diet because we wanted to be able to trust in the Lord for the things that we need. And yet somehow, every month, I'm able to eat the meat that makes my body healthy and like it was when I was young, and all my bills still get paid. Granted, I did cut a few things out of my life to make that happen. I quit vaping. I quit drinking. I quit smoking. I quit buying junk food every time I stopped for gas. I quit getting a lot of things that I used to get. I quit eating out because one of the things about my diet is that I needed to be able to eat food that didn't have any seed oils on it. It's almost impossible to go to a restaurant and not get seed oils on your food because whether they're cooking the food in the seed oil or they're using it to grease the grill, that seed oil was a bother for me. Now, a lot of carnivores don't have this problem, but in my case, I've been able to do it and it also has kept the cost down. Now, I know the cost of meat right now is ridiculous and it has nothing to do with market prices, unfortunately. But you know, as more and more people find out about this way of eating, the demand is going to require more supply. And people are going to realize if they want to keep making money on beef, they're going to have to start selling to us carnivores because there's more and more of us every day. People are finding out that this way of eating can save your life. Getting all that ultra processed food out of your life is not only going to make you lose weight and feel better, but it's going to keep you a lot healthier. I've got videos on my site right now where I've talked about books reviewing ultra processed food and I got another one coming out real soon where I'm going to be talking about insulin resistance and how that affects our bodies. The things we thought were making us sick are not the things that were making us sick. If you want to feel better, if you want to look better, if you want to be better, Lion Diet might just be the answer for you. And at the very least, a carnivore way of eating has certainly changed many lives. Check out some of the carnivore conversations I've recorded on this channel. I've talked to dozens of people who have had miraculous effects on a carnivore way of eating. And I've had hundreds of people comment on my videos talking about how I not only might have saved their lives, but I've been able to help them save their families and save themselves from a pharma and food system that is taking advantage of us. A few other beautiful side effects of this way of eating is I don't hardly get sun burn at all and that has a lot to do with getting seed oils out of my life. I don't have pain from inflammation all the time. I don't get sick as easy as I used to. My family got sick last month. All three of them got some kind of illness because they're not doing a carnivore way of eating like I am. They have thankfully been able to transition more and more away from ultra processed food. But I used to be the first one to get sick when one of the boys or my wife got sick. Now they can get sick but I can go through it like it's nothing because my immune system is working like it should for the first time in my life. I used to have all this red stingy skin all the time. Now my skin looks clear and clean. I used to have all this pain in my gut. All of that is gone now too. For people who complain that they can't go to the bathroom just eating meat that they need some roughage, I have no trouble going to the bathroom. One of the key issues with that for most people is fat regulation and possibly overcooking their food. But other than that, you're not gonna have problems going to the bathroom on a carnivore way of eating. Oddly enough, mosquitoes don't even bite me as much as they used to. Other bugs don't bite me as much as they used to. I've had mosquitoes biting my wife left and right where I might get one. So the only thing I can think is maybe my blood doesn't taste as good to them anymore because I'm a carnivore now. I'm more active now at 50 years old than I ever was in my entire life before. I'm able to get more stuff done. I'm able to focus on two jobs at the same time. I started playing basketball recently, something that I've never done. I don't even understand the rules of basketball for the most part, but I'm able to get out there and keep up with guys that are a lot younger than me doing something that I didn't think I would ever be doing. And it's all thanks to a carnivore way of eating, specifically in my case, lion diet. 
Now I have experimented with some other foods on my diet, but I found that my body just is resistant to all of these things. Probably has something to do with developing leaky gut from years of eating ultra processed food and eating fast food and seed oils and all the garbage that's in our food supply right now. I have found freedom in this way of eating like I never thought possible. It has changed me physically, mentally, and even spiritually. I found that by quitting those vices, I've been able to fall more in line with what scriptures tell me to do. As a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, I find that this has been a wonderful blessing for me. For people who always ask me that are Christians about why I don't eat vegetables still, a lot of that has to do with the fact that our vegetables just aren't vegetables anymore. They're either genetically modified, crossbred to be sweeter and more pest resistant, or they're sprayed with things like glyphosate, which is designed to kill them off so that they're easier to harvest. Things like wheat. A lot of these foods that we eat regularly get sprayed with Roundup on a regular basis. And then they wash that off the best they can, but I guarantee you they can't get all of that off there. Ultimately, I found eating only meat has worked fantastic for me, and now I stick with it more than ever. I don't even have a desire to experiment anymore because the troubles that I've had experimenting haven't been worth it. I live a totally different life now. I'm no longer a slave to advertising for food. I'm no longer a slave to the food system. I'm no longer a slave to the healthcare system. I fired my doctors. I do now have one doctor that's a family doctor, but I made sure to find one that understood the benefits of a carnivore way of eating and exactly what's going on with our food and pharma system that's so broken. But if I hadn't been able to find him, I'd have been comfortable going on without one. The only reason I need a doctor anymore is for any kind of acute care. Like if I get in an accident or break my leg or something like that, I'm gonna need a doctor. So I'm not throwing doctors under the bus, but I can tell you it's nice not to have to go back to one and ask for permission to buy the things that I used to use to just treat the symptoms that were making me sick, fat, and unhealthy. So now that I've got 1,000 days in the can and I'm about to turn 51 years old next month, I'm looking forward to whatever's coming next. And you can too. All you gotta do is say, screw it, I'm gonna get up and do it and decide you're gonna make a change. You're gonna cut that processed garbage out of your life. You're gonna give carnivore a look because it might be exactly what you've been looking for to change your life, just like it's changed mine. That's all I got for this one, guys. I thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?